gotta get comfy hey everybody it's your girl janelle and i am back with another video i'm here without courtney uh because times have been going like real can i even speak times have been real rough in regards to our schedule and everything and for those who do not know the baby has arrived there's no more baby in my belly <laughs> there's no more baby and so now i have the pleasure of talking about my pregnancy and disclaimer before anybody says anything oh i didn't experience that or i had like you know this is my pregnancy this is how i felt what i was going through what my symptoms were what my symptoms weren't what helped me during my pregnancy what didn't help all those things these are my experiences and i just want to make that clear that these are my experiences and i'm willing to share and open to share with all the new moms out there all the moms to be and just family and friends whoever just wanted to know how my pregnancy was so as you guys know i found out exactly one month after my wedding that i was pregnant and so yay i was about one to two weeks i believe and i didn't have any symptoms so no zero zero zilch 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 nothing nada no symptoms and so it was really weird i just took a pregnancy test because of tiktok don't go on tiktok guys but let me not get into that so yeah guys enjoy my pregnancy story time and i hope you learned something from this or i hope you get a new perspective on women that are pregnant um and what and how their body changes and what they go through how they feel physical changes and all that things all those things all that thing. all those things okay so enjoy the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel y'all and once again sorry for not having any videos out like we we had a baby so we had a baby um but there'll be more videos coming uh we're just taking really long we have no time sleep where i'm supposed to be sleeping now but the baby's sleeping so i have time to do this now for you guys so let's see how far i get into it before he wakes up okay let's get into the video. so when did i start feeling that i was pregnant or any symptoms when did any symptoms come up to know to indicate that i was pregnant well the six weeks when i hit six weeks guys i kid you not sick sick remind you this is this was this was in august because it was exactly one month ago. i got married june 25th and i found out i was pregnant on june 20 i mean july 25th so that means i was six weeks in august whatever who cares i was six weeks and that's when <laughs> throw up couldn't hold anything down water no food no fruits nothing zero couldn't hold anything down your girl was sick and i had um i felt nauseous and i was throwing up right throughout my pregnancy up until seven months seven months of being sick i mind i went out sick i had to take these pills i forgot what they were called but i had to take um it was like white pills to help with the sickness because i couldn't hold anything down and i was tired that's another thing my first trimester tired i felt exhausted don't let anyone tell you oh you're tired now just wait until just wait when don't wait you, you you tired sleep sleep honey sleep you making a baby while we creating organs brains like everything bones in your belly sleep it's hard work your body doing work so yeah i had i was sick right throughout my i just say right throughout my pregnancy because seven months uh, we made it to nine but like what's two months I'm confused what is two months so yeah that was another symptom um, I started to see my belly grow like four months three months I had a little pout like it just a little oomph. it wasn't nothing it, it really people didn't even know I was pregnant people probably saw it in my face or how I would like my attitude 
because I was just so tired. I was just like, I went out with my friends, tired. I looked like poo. Shit, I looked like poo. Who am I kidding? But when I tell you, even my friends will say, yeah, you looked rough. I wore the same outfit throughout my entire pregnancy. If I have a picture of that outfit, I will insert it somewhere. I'll insert it just to show you guys that your girl was looking rough. Her hair wasn't combed, wore the same outfit. Remind you, I'm, I'm sick, can't eat, and I'm tired all the time. This is the dead of summer, summer heat crazy so yeah i didn't start seeing um any changes to my body maybe until like four months five months and five months you could you could tell that i had a belly and that's in the video of when i found out the gender of the baby so yeah now the sickness subsided with the pills with the help of the pills and then what else happened to me oh second trimester Woo loved it i traveled i went to florida hit up my brothers as you guys know every time i go to florida i gotta see my brothers and my aunt so like i was living my best life second trimester i had energy i was up and down walking living my best life and um i started getting braxton hicks like around five months like late five six a hundred percent six months braxton hicks and i'm telling people oh braxton hicks braxton hicks and they're like already what do you mean are you sure yes it's my body i googled it i asked my doctor what do braxton hicks feel like and she said the tightening like your belly's stiff and it feels just tight and like when you poke it it's hard whoa those braxton hicks kicked in and then that's when i started feeling the baby move move now i didn't like i felt the baby move and it didn't feel like butterflies like in the second part like the early part of my second trimester like it was it was there but like it was like a little faint faint and i don't really count that i, I want to feel the <laughs> mommy i'm up yeah so that i'm gonna say six months is when i started really feeling the kicks the movements the you know what i mean like that <laughs> that's when i that's when i started feeling the kicks and so that was during the second trimester which calculate like which mixed in with the braxton hicks mm, baby at night time my son was up in between the hours of one to four Braxton Hicks killing me with the movements. Wow. That was the only downfall of second trimester. Like, everything else, I was cool, calm, collected. I was eating pizza, drinking Coke the entire pregnancy. <laughs> I know the moms out there know what I mean when I say drinking Coke. Because whatever I did, whatever I drank would make me sick. When I drank Coke, woo! couldn't have felt any better so everyone knows all the mamas out there all the partners that have been through pregnancy with their with their um, spouses they know coke is the way to go so I ate the things I ate during my entire pregnancy was pizza and coke I loved it it was so good um, all right so second trimester was there anything else no, not really. So third trimester, Braxton Hicks are now kicking. Like they're in it to win it. Sometimes I'm like, is this labor? Like, I don't know. Cause Braxton Hicks were strong. Third trimester, other than the Braxton Hicks, energy gone. I don't know where that energy came and left from second trimester, but it left. And now I wasn't as tired as I was in the first trimester, but the third trimester, I was just, uh, I just wanted to be like, uh, relax. Mind you, my belly is getting bigger. This point, I had no stretch marks. Still, up to, to, up to this day, I, I didn't get any stretch marks throughout my enti entire pregnancy. So, like, other than feeling tired, the changes in my body, in my boobs, whoa. 
I got cleavage. My boobs touch. They touch. Okay? I was, wow, this is how it feels? I don't like it. I want my small boobs back, by the way. <sighs> they gonna be sagging now? But it's okay. Um, <laughs> third trimester. So, tired, belly movements, Braxton hits, hits stronger. Um, what else? Oh, guys, I got diagnosed with gestational diabetes. Let's talk about it. Because no one talks about it. Zero. What is gestational diabetes? Like, I had no idea. I didn't Google it to tell you guys right now. You could Google it. It's basically, based on your hormones and everything, the insulin in your body can't break down the sugars and blah, 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 blah. So my levels were spiked in the night. So my fasting levels weren't low enough for the doctors. So I had to be on insulin. When I say guys, my ball, my ball. Like I bawled, I bawled, I bawled, I cried, I cried, I, I bawled every, I probably cried every day. Silently, I probably cried every day. Cause what that means is you not only have to watch what you eat, I was carb counting, okay? Carbohydrates, I was counting, I had to count my carbs. I had to count the fiber in them and the amount of sugar. Anything I ate, it was very limited. Small portions, your girl was starving, okay? At this point, starving. Third trimester, and this is what I think what made me crave ice, I don't know. I never craved ice, couldn't drink cold water. All of a sudden, third trimester, cold water, ice, had to be ice. Like, it just, I had to. So I had to cut back, I couldn't, I didn't eat anything sugar. No candy, no pot, that means no coke, no ginger ale, no juice, no sugar free, nothing. It was straight water. And I cried all the time. Because I was very limited to what I could eat or drink. So like imagine that, okay? Plus taking... Plus pricking. I had to prick myself. My fingers, this hand, my left hand, there's no blood in this hand. I don't know why. I kid you not, I would poke myself 10 times just to get one blood a drop. I mean one drop of blood. It was so hard. I had to do this three times, morning, four times a day. One, as soon as I wake up. Two, the second time was two hours after I ate breakfast. Then I had to do two hours after I ate lunch and then two hours after I ate dinner. And I couldn't eat anything after nine o'clock. Nothing. Couldn't have any fruits. Like, it was so bad. So I had to prick myself. And then, because my sugars were still high, after a while, I had to get insulin. This was the hardest part of my pregnancy. Third trimester really put me in a bad mental state. Like, I wasn't okay. Like, I was not okay. Your girl was not okay. I would cry and cry and cry because I was, if you know me, I don't like needles. I don't like pain, I don't like needles. I was already poking myself four times a day. Now I had to take this needle that I had to self do, I couldn't. So I wanna say shout out to my husband, my night nurse, because I had to take my insulin, which I had to take the needle at night, and I couldn't do it. I could not physically stab myself with the needle and inject myself with the, with the medication. I could not do it. Courtney had to do it every single night, and I thank God for my husband because what would I do without him? I could not have done it. When I went into the appointment, the lady's like, just push it in your thigh and press. No. So husband, Courtney, thank you so much. When you see this video, when you edit it, maybe I'll edit it, I don't know. But when you see this video, I wanna say thank you so much because without you, I don't know what I would do. Overall, I love my pregnancy. I loved it. I wouldn't, I would change the gestational diabetes. I'll take the sickness for seven months again. Yes, I will, as long as I have those pills. But um, I can't do the gestational. But over, other than that, my pregnancy was amazing. I loved it. So, yeah. 
overall i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you are a new mom or a mom in general or becoming a mom let me know what symptoms you had did you have the same symptoms of me or what was different about your pregnancy let me know in the comments below once again i would like to thank you guys for supporting Courtney and i and now the baby um we're officially officially a family of three and so look out for the next video it's really hard because my labor the labor video is kind of going to be all over the place because it happened so fast which is another video i will be doing right after this one just so that we could get stuff rolling for you guys yeah just look out for new videos coming up it's really hard having a newborn or just having a baby in general like sleep wear like this eye i feel like this eye looks smaller than this one like i'm tired but i really wanted to get this out and out and about for you guys take a dive into my life uh but yeah thanks for supporting us everyone take care don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share the video bye guys Yeah. <laughs>